actually vlogging again. I haven't vlogged in a few weeks. Um, even though I've just uploaded a vlog literally today. It's actually been a while because it took me so long to edit the last one. But I thought I would start a vlog today because I'm going to get a lot of reading done this weekend. I'm going to try and do a 24 hour, how many books can I read in 24 hours? Which is going to be so much fun. I've never done it before. Um, I'm not going to do consecutively 24 hours. I'm going to set a timer, stop the timer, see how many books I can read within a 24 hour period rather than reading consecutively in 24 hours. You know what I mean, you'll see what I mean. But we're gonna do that tomorrow. But I'm starting this vlog now because I'm going on a cute little day out with my little sister. We are, we do this like annual thing where we go to TK Maxx in autumn, like at the, kind of around Halloween time and stock up on seasonal candles. So I'm just about to leave and go and meet her to do that. And then I think that my brother and other sister are gonna come around her house as well. We're gonna do a little cute movie, movie night. I'm an absolute wimp with horror movies though, so I will not be watching anything scary. I'll let you know later the books that are on the agenda maybe for my reading in 24 hours vlog thing. But right now I'm late. I'm also bringing my tarot card deck so I can do some more readings. I had some clips of me doing some readings in the last vlog as well when I met up with my family last time. Um, but I didn't really go into any of it. Um, but it's so fun. It's such a fun thing to do. Also, I just hit 400 subscribers, so I was so happy. I can't believe it. I'm so happy. Thank you everyone who has subscribed to this channel and watches these videos. It means the world to me. And I'm so, so, so excited about hitting 400 subscribers. So thank you so much. Um, if you're watching this and you're not subscribed, please subscribe because it means the world to me. Um, and thank you so much for everyone who watches and comments and it just, yeah, it's just so much fun and I just absolutely love it. So thank you. Okay, I really am late and I need to go. Fit check, some flared leggings and a black jumper. And of course, my little Daunt Books book bag, which is the most superior of all the book bags, by the way. Um, oh my God, what am I doing? I'm so late. Josie's gonna see this vlog as well and know that I messaged her so many times being like, can you push it back 10 minutes? And now she's gonna see why, because I've just been messing around. Messing around. Okay, where are my shoes? Oh my God. I'm going to bring some treats to my siblings as well. Um, because I'm nice, I'm a lovely person. <laughs> Just had to get an emergency wrap because I thought I was gonna faint. We're doing our yearly um, seasonal, annual seasonal shopping TK trip. TK Maxx trip. We need to think of the name. This is my coffee. This is my order. Hold on a minute. It's a latte with oat milk and caramel. Oh, delicious. I have not yet had any pumpkin spice, not even one bit of pumpkin. I had one the other day, it wasn't very good. Was it not? But it's like the feeling of it. Yeah, is... the feeling is what yeah. we paid for. So we'll see you in there. Betty's <laughs> looking for boots. <laughs> oh my god, why am I so jealous? Like, I wish I found that. And this is actually me as well. It is you, as I'm thinking. Who are you? Um, the pink one. I know that I'm being ironic. Are you being ironic though? That's the thing. Like it's it's ironic. It actually looks really good. Turn around. See it on the back. Oh, it doesn't have it on the back. The other one does. I was just gonna look at the books. Oh my god, they've got Virginia Wolf. Oh my god. Gorge. Turn it to the side. Let me show the spine. Yeah. <laughs> pages. Pages. Oh my god, it's stunning. They're really expensive. Got like the clean Hoover one. <laughs> we don't love Colleen Hoover on this channel. That's the difference to me and you. Oh, nice. <laughs> Very festive. <laughs> I'm literally reading Sherlock Holmes at the minute. You can't feel it. Oh. You can't feel it, but it's gorgeous texture. Isn't gorgeous it? texture. Very gorgeous. <laughs> it's a fan classic. Oh my god, I love these ones. Aren't they cute? Like a Bible. Yeah. They're actually good. Well written. This is just what I came in for. <laughs> I think my chakras have been out of sync recently. Have they? Seriously. <laughs> you should see what our spirit animal is. I already know what mine is. What is it? 
Tell oh, me what it is and then I'll tell you what it means. Is it an ant? No, it's not an ant. Alpaca? Nah. Perfect for spooky season. A cat. Maybe I'd be a I cat. Think, I think cat. Trust your instincts on making big decisions. Friday the 13th, guys. Attention to the spirit world, work life balance, psych energy. That is so you. What, what are you though? I want to find yeah, yours. I'm kind of a cat as well. <laughs> you can't steal mine. A lot of them are bugs. I don't mind being a bug. Be a cockatoo. Um, a cougar. <laughs> <laughs> dolphin. The dolphins are kind of fat. I don't think I'm a dolphin. You really... know what I actually do see you as? I did. A bumblebee. <gasps> From your hunger. Yeah. Lightness Find of delight in every moment, that's so you. The sweetness of life, messenger of hope, resilience and inner strength. Just, that is you, that is actually you. This is exactly where I'd want to buy my meat. We're at our favourite part of TK Maxx shopping, which is when we give ourselves a headache by smelling candles. Open it. <laughs> Candle. <laughs> but you didn't use that. Jason said she's going to buy me one. Horrible. <laughs> hold the lid for me. I think that's still my favourite. No, hold the lid. Just the lid. No, can't. <laughs> Look, it's got rose quartz. Maybe rose. rose quartz is our birthstone, actually. No, it's not. What's February's birthstone? Someone in the comments. Don't <laughs> the comments. That's your birthstone. <laughs> my only Push. two festive decorations. <laughs> so you need. And what, what are they? A bucket. <laughs> it's empty. An yeah. empty used bucket. <laughs> and a tree. Because it's October. Yeah. We are back at Josie's house now. It got absolutely soaked in the rain. But she is making it all so cute and cozy in here. I've got Hocus Pocus on the TV. Got the candles lit, fairy lights. Such a vibe. <gasps> Look at what she's got now. <laughs> all Halloween, Halloween theme. Oh my God. And because it's Friday the 13th, we're gonna do tarot card readings watching scary movies seance. having a great time seance maybe is it in berry yeah like barry it's a good quality bear actually joe i know I bought it's it. quite like you bought it for yourself oh yeah. well, pumpkins these Aww. are obviously had seen better days <laughs> but they're really good this is here now Woo! Oh God, the volumes has gone up by 100. It's going to be the thumbnail now. Delete that. I'm, I'm not signing a model waiver anymore. Josie's done us fur. Mm. I forced them all to sit and watch the vlog. Join it. I love it. I love it. I love Josie. They're happy now that they're on the screen. <laughs> They just found out that they've got a flat together. Yeah. Woo! So next Ooh. next movie night is at your house. Do you guys notice I got my hair cut? No. Did you notice vlog? Yeah. Grace has just recently started brushing her teeth. So <laughs> quite the revelation. Quite good. The biggest cross crossover in, in boxing history. Is it? I'm back home now. Gonna get up bright and early tomorrow for the 24 hour readathon. Although it's how many books can I read in a 24 hour period? Non consecutively. I need to think of a more catchy phrase for that. This 24 hour readathon thing that I'm doing has gotten off to a terrible start. I only just got out of bed and it's 11 am. I also really need to film TikTok and get it up today, like right now. We're gonna film TikTok now and then we need to start this timer and get reading. Ah! So I've just finished filming the TikTok and I've got that up. It's 12. Even if I read from now until midnight, I'm only halfway through. Anyway, we just need to start. Basically, the book that I'm gonna read first. Why is this gone weird? Anyway, the first book that I'm gonna be reading in this 24 hour readathon, which is gonna start imminently, is I'm going to listen to the audiobook of Mum, Mummy, Mummy. God, I should know how to say it because I'm listening to the audiobook. I'm about 50% through, and then I'm gonna sit down later and blast through some reading. I'm definitely gonna be finishing Sherlock Holmes, the Scarlet, the study in Scarlet. I'm already like 75% through that. And I'm also definitely gonna be finishing The Wheel of Time. I'm like 80% through that book. So then I'm gonna finish those quite quickly and I need to pick up another physical book. Okay, so the time is 12.15 and we are starting the clock. And I'm starting my first read. Toy for you. I'll get one out for you. Which toy do you want, Mies? This one? This one? <laughs> I 
bagel and we are one hour in. Okay, I've just finished the end of the audiobook. I really liked it. It's about this young woman and she's kind of quite naive and she's always doing so much for her family and she decides to kind of just start living for herself. I liked how it was written and, and I really liked the main character, Mame. So yeah, I, I what would I rate it? I think maybe like a three, maybe like a four star, like 3.75. I thought it was really, really good. But now I'm going to read. Now I'm reading this, A Study in Scarlet. I'm like 75% through, it's a Sherlock Holmes. So I'm just gonna finish this book. Okay, so I'm starting it again. I'm gonna keep reading. Misa's keeping me company now. Okay, I've just finished a study in Scarlet. <gasps> Two hours almost. This is my first impression of Sherlock Holmes, um, reading Sherlock Holmes. And I'm not sure, I'm, what was that? So most of Sherlock Holmes' um, stories are short stories, but this one's a novel. This is the first novel for Sherlock Holmes and like it was like two different stories in one. It was loads of Mormonism in it, which I had no idea would be in a Sherlock Holmes story. Um, really, really odd. But I don't know, maybe like a three star? I think I'll read some of his short fiction instead. Also, you know what I didn't love about it is that uh, you can't really like figure stuff out yourself. Like that's why I like an Agatha Christie because she gives you clues and you can kind of figure it out and like find stuff out yourself. I just don't think you'd be able to do that with a Sherlock Holmes because so much of it's hidden from you and, and you're, you're just supposed to be wowed by him rather than like figuring it out along with him. Next, I'm going to move over and read The Wheel of Time. I'm on book number, is it eight or nine? Maybe nine? I think I'm on book number nine, it's called Winter's Heart and I've got 20% left of that. So let's see if I can keep this ball rolling, keep finishing off books today. I'm feeling very good and very productive. Two hours in, already finished off two books I wanted to read. Wheel of Time are really, really long books. It's like 900 pages. So 20% of that is actually still quite a lot of pages but I'll see how long it takes me and I'll keep you updated. Okay, so it says two hours and 23 minutes left in the book. I'm pausing again to have some cheesy nachos. Okay, I'm starting again with the reading. We've not made much progress at all. I'm stopping the timer because my iPad has run out of battery. Misa is back. I'm enjoying it now. The end of these books are always good. It's such a slog in the middle and they get really slow and really boring. But the end is always quite fun and so I'm finally like enjoying it, getting into it. Just finally finished. I can't believe I've been doing five hours and 15 minutes already. I'm so happy that I finished that book though. I've been reading it for like a few weeks. The ending wasn't as good as I thought it was gonna be. It was kind of a bit anticlimactic actually. Maybe it was a three stars for me. It's better than some of the other ones. Some of the others I've rated like four stars. Some of them I've hated and rated like two stars. But it does mean that I've ticked off a book that I was supposed to read for 2023 because this is a book that I said that I really wanted to read. I wanted to get back into the of time so I'm really glad I've done it. But now I'm having a little break. I'm gonna go and drink some water and turn the lights on in this room and make it cozy and then pick my next book so we can choose a book together. I think next I should do a physical book because I've done two, well I've finished off two on my Kindle and I've done an audio book so. Let's go upstairs and pick my next book. Lisa, are you gonna come with us? I'm thinking fantasy and probably I should do one that is on my TBR for this month. Okay, so I'm thinking not this because I don't wanna cry. Maybe that, The Night House, spooky one. This is definitely an option. I don't know if I'm feeling literary one, and that's literary, although it's nice and short. I don't think I'll do that one yet because it's my book club book, and I don't think we're meeting for a while, but this is also another option. Do you think me so? You're never very helpful when I ask you questions, are you? Let me show you the candle I got yesterday. It smells like smoked berries and amber. Okay, so I've narrowed it down to these three. This one because it's short, this one because it's fantasy, and also I'm just intrigued. And this one, I am also intrigued. Okay, I'm picking this one. It's really small font. But I, I know that I like Desire Bancroft's writing and it's like a mystery. So we're gonna go with this. What are you doing over there? Why do you look so suspicious? Okay, 
Let's start the next book. We're starting the timer. We love some good maps at the beginning. Okay, I've read the first 10 pages and I'm liking it. I'm just, it's really funny already. I, I just love his writing, but I now need to go and make myself some dinner. Okay, dinner is served. Gonna watch some Gilmore Girls. I expect that, but what if he turns out to be Fredo? Are you seriously telling me not to do I had a big long break for dinner, but I'm back to it now. Six hours in. I really thought I'd be able to get like, 12 today i don't know why what possessed me it's already 9 30 p.m anyway i'm still really enjoying this book basically it's about these two there's like married couple this hexologists and they've got someone who's um trying to hire them on behalf of the king the king has decided he wants to bake himself into a cake and like be cooked alive and so they're gonna take on this case but it's already really cute it's got really funny witty humor and i really like the writing Nisi is keeping me company. I am now 82 pages into this book. It is now 20 to midnight. I might read a little bit more actually. I actually think he's such an underrated writer, Josiah Bancroft. Like, I'm loving it. He has a really funny, witty way of writing. It's very whimsical, but also at the same time kind of like intricate. So the plot's kicking in a bit more now. It's good. It's like a little mystery that we're trying to solve and I love the two main characters, the married couple. I actually love just reading from like the perspective of a married couple, like you just, like how rare is that? I don't know why it's so rare, but like, like just reading about them going about their adventure and they're just like in love. But I will just read for a little bit more and then I'll go to bed. Morning, I'm up and I'm reading. I got to eight and a half hours last night. I've just started the timer again. Stopping there, I got to page 138. Okay, we're putting reading on pause for a minute because I have to get outside. So we are going on a little bike ride. Ignore my slicked back hair as well. I actually really hate this hairstyle on me. But sometimes it's the only thing that we can do. I'm gonna go on a little bike ride, maybe go and get a coffee, get some outside time because it's cold today, but it's so sunny. I'm gonna do that so that then I can come back Get loads of reading done later. Oh my god, I look insane because I just did the craziest uphill cycle. But now I'm here. I thought I'd stop here for a coffee and to look in their gardens. from my cycle ready to spend the whole afternoon reading even though i have lost quite a few hours with that adventure just finished this book it is 11 o'clock at night and almost 13 hours in it took me a while to read it but i really really enjoyed this book it's really really fun i'll do a proper wrap up of the book at the end but this is like a four or five stars for me i think Good morning! I have not spoken to you yet today but I have been reading. I have a few updates for you. So I'm in the 16th hour. I'm 16 hours 24 minutes in to the 24 hour reading timer thing, whatever it is. I've been reading Bookshop and Algiers still um, but I only read a bit this morning before starting work and then while I've been working today and doing some other jobs around the house I was listening to Sula, which is I think my first ever Toni Morrison, which is kind of crazy, but it was on my library and it's quite a short audiobook. Um, and I also listen to my audiobooks quite fast. So I've actually managed to just finish that book, which is kind of crazy. So that's why I'm like 16 hours in now. I was listening to that audiobook. Um, it was really good. I really liked it. It was kind of creepy. 
at, at, at points. It's actually quite quite creepy. I don't know if it was meant to be creepy, but it was really, really good. And I'm looking forward to reading more Toni Morrison. Later on, I'm going to read this. This book is actually really short. I think I'm going to aim to finish it today. I'm already 30 pages in and I think it's only 140 pages total. And then we'll see what else happens with the day um, because I might have to think of something else to pick up and read. But we are storming through these books. We're doing really good and I'm really enjoying this challenge to get me to read more like and actually kind of sit down and intentionally read okay work day is finished i am in my robe because it's so cold now the temperature's just absolutely dropped but work day's finished i'm gonna go downstairs cuddle up on the sofa and keep reading this book i don't have any strong impressions of this so far i mean i'm only like 30 pages in but still but i will once i finished it which hopefully will be tonight but who knows, might get distracted and play Pokemon or something. <laughs> I've done no reading, but I'm having dinner. This is vegan chicken and some leftover veg. And I'm watching Gilmore Girls. <sighs> oh my goodness, I'm tired. I have been reading, we are now 17 hours, 17 and a half hours in. I've been reading this book. I am now over halfway. It's all right. I... It's like talking a lot about lots of different writers and the only one I really know very well is Albert Camus. Camus? Is that how you say it? Camus? The one who wrote The Outsider or The Stranger, depending on where it's published. There's like three different kind of timelines or like three different aspects to the book. One's a diary of the person who was running it, who kind of founded this bookshop and it's going through like the 1930s and into the 40s currently. Um, then there's the current timeline, which is... 2017 and it's um like a young man who's been told to go and clear out the whole bookshop and he has to get rid of all the books and like the neighborhood around are like kind of hating it and then there's another um kind of omniscient narrator perspective as well and the only perspective i'm really enjoying is the, the guy who founded the shop that's the most interesting so far and i only really care about that one it's okay i'm not loving it i'm going to bed now we may finish this challenge tomorrow Depending on how busy I am at work, we may not. I might need to get another audiobook to push me through. Well, I'll keep reading this tonight and see where we go. Maybe I will finish it. I'm on page 85 of like 140, so maybe finish it. You're a bit messy there. Let me just sort you out. I have just finished this book. I thought it was very mid. I almost wish that I had a non-fiction version of this book because I feel like all the novel elements of this were not very interesting. And also there wasn't quite enough context for the non-fiction parts like about Algeria's history. Some of it was good, like like I said before, like that one timeline of the guy opening his bookshop and doing publishing and all of that. Time check update is 1847. So we are getting there. We might be able to do it today depending on if I find a good audiobook to listen to. Okay, so the audiobook options for my workday are A Book of Form and Emptiness, The Overstory and Between Shades of Grey. But all of them feel quite serious and I don't know if I can be bothered. There's also one on my net galley that is coming out in January and it's like a witchy young adult kind of fantasy and it's called A Hunger of Thorns and so I might try this one out instead <laughs> just because I'm in the mood of something easy listening, you know? I'm I'm a few hours into this challenge now and we've got to take easiness where we can. <laughs> you earlier but I went out tonight for dinner with two of my friends and it was so lovely we had a wonderful time and even better after dinner we then went around and looked at 
all the books in foils and it was so fun there was actually a buy one get one free but i was trying to be so good but i did see so my rule going in was i'm not going to buy any hardbacks because they're just so expensive okay i'm allowed to get a paperback and only one but then there was a buy one get one free and i was like oh i can't get two but then my friend was getting some books so we did the buy one get one free kind of together so i did get one book and I got it cheaper, so I'm very happy about it. And the book is Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia for Fairies because I've wanted to read this for ages. I think that it'll be really cute to read because I'm feeling something cosy, especially lately after reading a couple more serious books, like even just within this weekend, I've been reading a few more serious ones. I think this will be really cute and cosy. I've heard really good things about it, so I hope it's charming and whimsical like everyone says it is. I was listening to more of my audiobook while I was, um, kind of traveling so we have currently i think 21 hours in so there's only three more hours left i'm gonna do a bit more reading now i'm actually gonna read this book uh the man who spoke snakish because the book club discussion is coming up and i think i'm behind i want to get to like chapter 20 which is where most people in the book club are up to because you can kind of see where people are up to on the book club so i want to get to around 20 to kind of catch up with other people so i know what's going on and i can join in on the chats and i'm about 40% in I think of the audiobook that I was listening to which is what was it even called something of thorns like a rage of thorns or something it's good it's fine I think it's slightly too long for the story that it's trying to tell um it's basically about this girl and her best friend goes missing um in this kind of fey land and she goes to help her but it's all about like stories and magic and it's quite witchy yeah I'm gonna read now and then finish off this challenge in the morning I've officially finally done it. I actually went a bit over because I was busy reading and I wasn't looking at the clock. I have done it. I've done the challenge of reading for 24 hours and let's do a roundup of everything that I've managed to read. I've literally just had to go back and look at the clips that I've recorded to remember everything that I've been reading, but I then uploaded the clips and there's already over an hour of footage in this vlog. So this edit is gonna be a nightmare. So I'm gonna try and do this as quick as possible. So we started this challenge on Saturday at like midday and it is now Wednesday afternoon. We started off with reading the audiobook of Mame and I really liked this one. This was a four stars and it was really, really fun. And then I finished off reading Sherlock Holmes which I was very disappointed in. And I, I maintain that and I'm almost more disappointed now, actually, now that I've let it settle. I think I'll just stick to short fiction for Sherlock Holmes in the future because I just didn't really enjoy that as a novel. Then I finished off The Wheel of Time that I'm very proud of because that's been a year in the making. I was trying to finish that book like for so long. Um, it was a bit anticlimactic, but it was fine. And I think I will start the next one of the Wheel of Time series soon to kind of try and keep the momentum. And then what did I read? Then I picked up The Hexologist, which I really enjoyed. That one was really fun. I think I'm going to do a little dedicated video, at least on my TikTok, about Josiah Bancroft, because I feel like he's actually such an underrated writer. Then I did Toni Morrison, my first ever Toni Morrison, Sula, which I liked, but I didn't love. And it might be because I listened to it on the audiobook. Sometimes I, I'm just, I find it more difficult to listen to read books via audiobook because I find it hard to pay attention. So I feel like with a book like that, I probably should have read it physically just so that I could have got more out of it. Um, but I still enjoyed it. And then I started, or I finished Bookshop in Algiers, which I was also slightly disappointed in. I just wish the book was a bit different in how it was structured because it was really interesting topic and setting, but didn't hit for a variety of reasons I think that I've already discussed. Okay, that was book number six. So then a book number seven. Okay, so then I started reading A Hunger of Thorns. I'm about 50% through now this audiobook. Um, it's fun. It's fine. I think it's slightly too long for the story it's doing. I think a lot will ride on the second half of this though, like how they're going to close off the story. Um, so I will hold back my review of that. And I've also this morning just been reading more of A Man who spoke snakeish which is good this is really good i'm really enjoying it it's such a strange book it's like nothing i've ever read um but i'll do a proper review of this so because this is our book club book so that's everything that i managed to read in this vlog which is an insane amount i think that totals eight books not completely read eight books obviously that would be insane but this was a very fun challenge please subscribe if you've managed to stay this long and leave me a comment below with the book that you find most interesting out of this vlog because there's a lot to talk about okay so that's it for me thank you so much for watching please remember to subscribe for more and i'll talk to you again soon bye